इस भारत को नौ वर्षों के पहले ये भारत दुनिया की दस अर्थव्यवस्थाओं में थी आज नौ वर्षों में आदरणीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में ये दुनिया की टॉप फाइव इकोनॉमी में आ गई है तो ये निश्चित तौर से नौ वर्षों की यात्रा है भारत की आज अगर रूस की और यूक्रेन की लड़ाई होगी तो उस काल में सिक्स पूर्व एडी में उन्होंने कहा कि दुनिया का रास्ता हिंसा का नहीं केवल अहिंसा का वो अहिंसा का संदेश गौतम बुद्ध ने दिया प्रधानमंत्री दुनिया के मंचों पे कहते हैं कि दुनिया ने युद्ध दिया भारत ने गौतम बुद्ध को दिया तो ऐसे गौतम बुद्ध के जन्मस्थल पे विपासना केंद्र बने पूरी दुनिया के इस क्लाइमेट चेंजेस के ग्लोबल वार्मिंग की कि 1.5 परसेंट से ज़्यादा ग्लोबल टेम्परेचर न बढ़ने पाए इसकी प्रतिबद्धता जो पहले दुनिया के नेताओं को होती थी आज वो भारत के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की है तो स्वाभाविक है ये विश्व के Namaskar hello and welcome viewers here watching the flagship show of Sunset TV your MP with your host Kriti Mishra and joining us today is a very special guest Lok Sabha MP and chairman of the parliamentary standing committee on energy Mr Jagdambika Pal so welcome to Sunset TV and thank you so much for joining us let's begin talking about your political life now such an illustrious and long standing political career so four decades in public life you've been member of the assembly member of the council member of the Lok Sabha you've been a minister you've been a chief minister you've constantly been the chairperson of the parliamentary standing committees as well but sir all of us are intrigued to know how did this political journey begin god is very kind enough to me and i think so only people sir also from my electoral college they are also very kind enough and in parliamentary democracy no one can spend a long journey in a parliamentary life until unless you will not be able to win over the sentiments and confidence of your common man so i think so you can't retain your seat and i am a fortunate lucky ki at least i was a member of up assembly for three terms even for two terms i represented in upper house in up council and from 15th lok sabha and up to now now i am a member of parliament so at least really i had played a long inning in a parliamentary role but right from day one what is my thinking i thought ki if i have been elected as a mla either mlc or member of parliament so people are having very high expectations from me if they have elect me so they they knew and they thought कि नाउ इफ आई हैव गिवन माय वोट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस इफ आई हैव गिवन माय फुल अफेक्शन एंड लव टू जगदम्बिका पाल एज ए रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ माय कंस्टिट्यूएंसी आइदर ही जे एम एल ए आइदर ही जे एम एल सी आर टुडे ही जे मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट तो नाउ आर जॉब इज ओवर एंड वट एवर द आर इशूज एंड प्रॉब्लम्स आइदर रिगार्डिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंस्टिट्यूएंसी आइदर रिगार्डिंग द सम अनदर इशूज any type of issue in any parliamentary constituency i assembly after elected representative people think ke now it is the responsibility of the representative to resolve the issue to bring the programs projects and development in our constituency so i have always to keep this at least things in my mind I always think you now I am accountable to my common man I am accountable to my electoral college so that's why I always think ki I am here only to serve my constituency then every day every fraction of second I used to think ki what I can do I always try to evaluate from other developed constituency because today I am representing a Siddharthnagar parliamentary constituency right it comes under एक्सप्रेशनल नीति आयोग हैज बीन आइडेंटिफाइड हंड्रेड पर तो आई थॉट कि बिकॉज ऑफ हेल्थ बिकॉज ऑफ एजुकेशन बिकॉज ऑफ बेसिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ये माई कंस्टिट्यूंसी स्टिल कंसिडर टू बी ए सोशियो इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड 
and my district is a part of aspirational district, so what is my responsibility? My responsibility being a member of parliament, ki at least I must try to bring at least some medical college in my constituency to provide a good facilities in healthcare also, to bring a good education a institutions like a central school. Right. So then I started. I met with the Prime Minister yes, sir. and I have made my request. I met the then, the then Health Minister, J.P. Nadda ji. I met right. with the Yogi Adityanath ji. And ultimately I succeeded also. And Siddharth Nagar is situated at the border of the Nepal. It is one of the remotest districts still from Lucknow. But I am fortunate lucky that I got one medical college earlier and then medical college has been completed and Prime Minister is very kind enough. He came personally to Siddharth Nagar and he inaugurated that medical college along with all nine other nine medical colleges in Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh. Yes. Uttar Pradesh. So then in this respect, just I brought it one medical college. So people are in my constituency they are satisfied that at least Jagdambika Pal he is trying his best to serve our sentiments also and to our requirements also, to our need also. So what is the basic need of the common man? Even central school, in my district, you know, there is not a central, so many central organizations. But even I have tried my best ki for until unless if schooling will not be, quality of education in schooling will not be, so then foundation will be not be strong. So in my constituency, I have just succeeded also and brought it one central school also. Passport office, right. general post office, two two highways also from National Highway Ministry, one from Nepal border Kakrahwa to Varanasi, and another from on Buddhist circuit that is known as a Buddhist circuit from Sarnath, Kusinagar, my constituency comes to the Buddhist circuit, Kapil Vastu, that is known as a birthplace of the Lord Buddha, mm -hmm. and then Srausti. I always used to think that Sarnath is already developed. It is on air map. Both guys are already developed. Right. Those who believe and faith in Buddhism from Korea, from Thailand, from Singapore, from China, from Japan, Indonesia, Sri Lanka. Every day they used to come Sarnath, Kusinagar, Kapil Vastu, and Srausti. Still, Kapil Vastu, which is part of my parliamentary constituency, still it is virgin. So then I started, I met with my tourism minister, I met with the chief minister. In Buddhism, what is the basic thing? Meditation. They believe in meditation. So I thought ki until unless there will be no one meditation center. So could you believe I have succeeded also? I have met with the chief minister. Chief minister has taken decision. He has sanctioned 24 crore rupees for the meditation center. It will be like a world class meditation center. Even for a Buddha theme park, I, yes, I, I, I met with the, my petroleum minister, Mr. Hardi Puri. He is kind enough. He has given 10 crore rupees. So I, in this respect, even now I have met with the G. Kishan Reddy, you also, and the chief yes. minister. So at least there should be a holistic development in Kapil Vastu, like a Sarnath, like a... I have met with the Gadkari, you also. Okay. So now Buddhist circuit should be four lane. Presently it is two lane. Hmm. And if foreigners they used to come every day from Sarnath, Kusinagar, Bodh Gaya, so he had he is also kind enough, he has agreed that principally we, we will sanction for four lane also. Okay. So then always I used to keep. But you will be strange ki if on one side if I always engage myself with the development and projects and program. So even if I am attending session also, right. so almost every day by evening I used to go to Lucknow by flight, by evening flight, oh and from Lucknow to my constituency, 250 kilometers, to attend marriages, to attend Yajna, to attend Ram Leela, to attend uh, annual functions of schools. And next day back to Parliament, sir? Parliament, every day. 250 kilometers by road going and then coming back, 250? Uh -huh. Then taking a flight and Suppose then... Suppose that I get down at Lucknow by yes, 6 p.m. Yes, sir. So I will immediately from airport, I will not go to my family. They used to stay in Lucknow, but I never used to go to my family. I will just go to by, from bypass to my constituency. That's what, four hours? Four hours, four hours. Okay. So then from 9.30 to 10, 
I used to spend 4 a.m. to my constituency to attend so many functions. Maybe I may not be able to attend all the functions, but 5, 7, 10, 15. By 4 a.m., I will leave my constituency and I will start for Lucknow. And almost I will be arrived at Lucknow by 7.30, by 8, and 8.30, again, I just took flight. And by 10, I arrived at Delhi, and by 11, I will be in Howard. But I'm lucky that you will be aware. Again, if you go through my attendance, yes, sir. in this age, you will find yes, sir. almost my attendance is 100%. And it is not only in 17th Lok Sabha. If you'll see in 16th Lok Sabha, if you go through in 15th Lok Sabha record, if you will see even 80, in 82, 40 years back, 41 years back, when I was a MLA and MLC, there also, it is a passion for me. Even I'm getting in some fever also, but I never miss my assembly or parliament. I, I, I used to enjoy, and every day, at least, and I try to submit my questions also, and I feel that I must get an opportunity to raise some questions regarding my constituency, regarding my state, regarding my people, and in zero hour I should get some opportunity to, to raise, raise some issues. Under here, 377, Minister is supposed to be, if you will raise that any issue, yes, so in that rules, Minister is supposed to be sent in writing also. That's so right. It is just like assurance also. Right. So then, so I, I try to avail opportunity in all the rules. Ki at least if I never satisfied ki if I have uh, just submit any question in question hour, so even maybe ki if I will feel ki it is a matter of importance for me and for my constituency. So I will submit in another rule also, 377 also, okay. calling attention also. Because I can be a part of TG Ventures, but I have a privilege ki I can I can raise uh, those issues in other rules also, so I will try. So at least, I think so, even for young generation, Prime Minister, even Parliamentary Affairs Minister, they always give direction that every member of Parliament, they should be present in the Parliament right. every day because people have elected you. That's right. So I think so, we, why we should realize ki why we are very fortunate, lucky, 543 MP, to what far? Right. People have given faith to me right. to be present here, to raise issue, to participate in the debate. And if we are not discharging that duty, so it means ki then you can evaluate yourself ki whether you, you deserve to be become a member of parliament, you may not be. So either if it, this thinking was in the age of even when I was 25 years old, 26 years, now I am 70 plus, but even same thinking. So I think that it creates a passion in my life. So, sir, sir, as a journalist and as a human being, I am still intrigued to know that when do you sleep? If you're my, my, constantly travelling, my colleagues, my family members, my those who are known to me, they all knew that I never sleep on bed. I never sleep in my bedroom. My I only used to sleep in my car. Because whatever I have said. It will be a contradictory if I will say ki I okay. used to sleep for two hours, three hours, four hours in my bedroom. When I never used to go to bedroom, then only if I used to go to my constituency from Lucknow, and there if I am attending some function, and then again after attending functions, I will leave for Lucknow. So if for a whole night, if I used to spend in a travelling, so it means ki in the same car I try to sleep. Otherwise, you 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 can't live without sleep. At that's least true. body requires that okay, at least you have to take some rest also. Sir, that's a very big message and inspiration for other aspiring politicians as well. But sir, talking about another very important parliamentary forum, which is the Parliamentary Committee. Now you've headed the Public Accounts, uh, the Public uh, Undertakings Committee. You've also headed uh, the Housing and Urban Affairs Committee, and now you're heading the Energy Committee. So how do you see and assess your participation or contribution there? It will not be good to respond on your question. I think so. I'm just extending my invitation. Any parliamentary constitutes all party members. That is not only from Treasury benches. Yes, and almost parliamentary constituency is supposed to be like a mini parliament. Right, sir. And in almost 
in every parliamentary constituency, the number of members of parliaments are 31. That's right. 21 from Lok Sabha and 10 from Rajya Sabha. Right. So I am I am giving you offer that you should ask. Now today I am heading to Energy Committee. So you must ask from some Congress member of Parliament who is a member of who is a part of Energy Committee, energy committee. either uh, any party. TDP, even there are so many opposition parties, NCP, even earlier I was in UD party, chairman of UD committee. There, obviously one member of parliament, Imtia Jalil was there, two Congress, Benny Benahan and Mr. other member of parliaments. Today, Energy in Ojla, he is from Punjab, from Congress party, Sanjay Singh. So you can just judge only through my other colleagues, though I from the different party, ki what is my contribution and how I used to deliver and contribute through Parliamentary Standing Committee for the nation, even for the society also, and even for the government also. I think so right from beginning. Even maybe today I am a chairman of the committee, Earlier, I was a member of this energy committee. I was a member of the energy committee. During 15th Lok Sabha, I was chairman of Kupu, also a public undertaking. I try that in parliament, we don't have too much time That's to right. That's right. debate, yeah, to discuss thread and there. And if you can, even in parliament on the floor of the house, but there you can't take any evidence from any officers right. because the officers they are not accountable in That's the parliament. Right. Their right. only ministers are accountable. They will only respond. But in parliamentary committee, all the government departments, if you are a member of that committee, so they are supposed to be there. there. So if you will sincere and if you will go through either parliamentary standing committee demands for grants, either today if electricity bill, amendment bill has referred to us, mm -hmm. Our honorable speaker yes. has referred to us. Yes. Yeah, earlier during COVID, Prime Minister has taken decision in Modi ji. Okay, now street vendors, because of lockdown, because of COVID pandemic, they were forced to reside in the house. But then he decided that without collateral, we will provide under PM Swanidhi 10 10,000 rupees for just to for bread and butter and to just start some work from the home also. I think so. We have tried our best. It's a very difficult job okay. without any guarantee, without any collateral. Banks are hesitant to give any money without any guarantee. But even we have invited so many CMD during that time and we discuss also PMO has followed more than 42 lakhs street members, they were benefited. So because of WHO has appreciated that India did very well during pending Kone, even all the head of the states, either US, either Rus, either European Union, they are appreciating to Narendra Modi. Only because of ki even during COVID pandemic, if everybody was under lockdown, so even the Prime Minister was touring even the laboratory and he was just boosting to the all scientists ki at least earlier we were, if any panic creates any such type of this viral and TGJs come, so we were always dependent upon the Japan, Absolutely. upon Europe. Absolutely. I think for the first time any Prime Minister who took initiative, ki who has boosted to scientists and scientists have succeeded, meant two two words in co-vaccine and co-vaccine also. And we have not only given 170 crores free Prime Minister, even outside more than 100 countries we have given. So even through parliamentary standing, I mean, you can contribute a lot of things. You will not believe in UD regarding Swachh Bharat. Yes. Under Swachh Bharat, I think so, urban houses, because it was a commitment of the Prime Minister also, I mean, our government also, he will provide every citizen who is not having any house. So, free of cost, Pradhan Mantri Awas, urban and rural also. So we have followed, 
because there are different type of states under federal structure you are well aware some yes, states takes interest some states they don't take any initiative so the role of parliamentary standing committee is very very important it is not only the place where only you can criticize to the government right. yeah only you just uh, availing the opportunity to only charge to some officers right. but there you are getting an opportunity every member of parliament if he is a member of energy committee a member of edf any parliamentary standing committee he can contribute like a government like a department the other way member of parliament what he think that yeah, i am only mp i am right. not in power what i can do how 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 i can deliver because i don't have any authority but if he is sincere if he will just taking interest either in parliamentary affairs so even minister will recognize Certainly. him you know he is a sincere member of parliament Certainly. even speaker will recognize him speaker speaker will give maximum time that's true because your sincerity pays your career absolutely so if you are sincere so i think so i am very much satisfied i think so now i am a chairman of parliamentary energy committee and there i was i think that's why i try to hold at least two three four meetings in a month right because, because there are so many subjects right certainly one sir. one electrical vehicle uh, issue yes. is very important and yes. i i think in our country we are ahead from so many countries so even being a chairman of and even i am a today chairman but when i was a member of any committee there also i feel ki now like a parliament i have to be there so even i never miss my any parliamentary committee meeting even parliament so still i have same zeal and same spirit same passion still i don't feel i try to avail that opportunity as a member of parliament inside on the floor of the house also even in parliamentary committee and even i have equally people used to think if i if some of they are those who are takes interest in debates yeah in some intellectual works they can't go for physical work but god is very kind enough to me by the grace of god i have never i am equally if i can work hard in a parliament inside so even equally i can work a very hard in my parliamentary constituency absolutely and people are with the by and large they are very satisfied so they always give me blessings also that also inspired me also precisely and that's the reason that you are here for the third consecutive term sir chalte chalte sir janna chahungi ki aage kya prathamikataye hain aapki aapki constituency ke liye aapke un logon ke liye jinko aap represent karte hain parliament of india dekhiye hamari prathamikataye wahi hogi jo desh ke hit mein हमारी सबसे बड़ी प्राथमिकता ये होगी कि हमारी सरकार के नौ साल पूरे हो रहे हैं पाँच साल जब पूरे हुए तो प्रधानमंत्री जी को जिस तरह का जनादेश मिला तो हमारी जवाबदेही और बढ़ जाती है आज मई में नौ साल पूरे हो जाएंगे तो हम अब पंद्रह मई से पंद्रह जून तक अपनी लोकसभा में एक एक योजनाओं का मूल्यांकन करेंगे गाँव गाँव प्रवास करेंगे कि उन योजनाओं का लाभ मिला कि नहीं मिला क्या आज भी लोग वंचित तो नहीं हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री को आवाज़ से हर घर में शौचालय की बात या लोगों को हर घर में प्रधानमंत्री ने कमिटमेंट किया था ना जो महिलाएं बेटियां वो चूल्हा फूकती थी अस्थमा की मरीज हो जाती थी एक वक्त का खाना कंडा बनाने में 400 सिगरेट का धुआं इन्हेल करती थी तो ऐसे तो वो प्रधानमंत्री आवास हो उज्ज्वला में गैस का चूल्हा हो स्वच्छ भारत में शौचालय हो प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि में छः हो या हमारा आप जो आयुष्मान भारत में पाँच लाख रुपया हो तो इन योजनाओं को लोगों तक पहुँचाएंगे और एक दूसरी बात मैंने जो खुद सोचा है कि जैसे प्रधानमंत्री ने पहले प्रयास किया था और पूरी दुनिया ने और यू ने भी योगा को स्वीकार किया और तिरपन देशों के लोगों ने इक्कीस जून को एक अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योगा दिवस मान लिया ऐसे आपने देखा होगा कि कोविड के बाद जिस तरह से एक मिलट की चर्चा किया और उसके भी इनिशिएटिव प्रधानमंत्री ने लिया और प्रधानमंत्री ने इस बात को दुनिया के जब फोरम पे कहा तो आज नरेंद्र मोदी जी की पहल से ये 2023 इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ द मिलट है और इंटरनेशनल ईयर ऑफ द मिलट है तो ये हमारे लिए कोविड की जहां हमारे लिए चैलेंज था उसमें एक अपॉर्चुनिटी आई आपदा में जो अवसर कहते हैं प्रधानमंत्री ये हम उसको लेंगे हमारे पूर्वज 
गांव में ज्वार बाजरा रागी कोदो यही सब मोटा अनाज पैदा करते थे आज रिसर्च के बाद ठीक है धान हो गेहूं हो या से अदरवाइज तो पहले धान के पहले मोटा ही अनाज होता था पहले आपको होता था जैसे अरवा कहते हैं इसको पहले भुजिया होता था और गेहूं की जगह पे कोदो रागी ज्वार बाजरा मक्का ये सब होता था तो आज अगर ये दुनिया में सबसे ज़्यादा इसमें न्यूट्रिशंस है सबसे अच्छा हेल्दी फूड हो सकता है तो हमारे लिए तो पूरी दुनिया के लिए मार्केट हो जाएगा हमारे जहाँ पानी कम होता है ये फसल वहीं होता है जहाँ पानी कम होता है तो ऐसे तमाम स्टेट राजस्थान से लेके उत्तर प्रदेश सोनभद्र का इलाका बिहार हो मध्य प्रदेश हो तो हम इसको प्रमोट करें कि किसान फिर से उस मिलेट को जिसको श्री अन्न कह रहे हैं इसको होए और इसकी कीमत और मैंने इसलिए मैं इससे इस बात को सोच रहा हूँ कि हमारे यहाँ काला नमक चावल होता है जिसको गौतम बुद्ध का प्रसाद कहा जाता है वो बिलुप्त सा हो रहा था लोग हाई ब्रीड के चावल बोने लगे थे कि हम उससे ज़्यादा धान का उत्पादन करेंगे अधिक पैसा मिलेगा लेकिन अभी पिछले दिनों जब उत्तर प्रदेश में मुख्यमंत्री ने वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन प्रोडक्ट किया और अब प्रधानमंत्री जी ने उसको कहा कि वन ब्लॉक वन पे तो हमारे उस काला नमक चावल को वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन प्रोडक्ट दिया गया वो काला नमक चावल जो सिद्धार्थगर में ही उपलब्ध था आज वो अमेजन पे फ्लिपकार्ट सब जगह बिक रहा है दुनिया की मार्केट में उसका खुशबू हो रहा तो मुझे लगता बासमती के बाद अब एक काला नमक होगा तो अगर काला नमक से हम जहाँ पाँच ट्रिलियन डॉलर प्रधानमंत्री जी बनाना चाहते हैं उसमें एक ट्रिलियन डॉलर यूपी जोड़ने का संकल्प योगी जी ने लिया है तो उसमें हम ही सबसे बड़ा योगदान कर देंगे कि गौतम बुद्ध के जितने मानने वाले देश हैं उसमें काला नमक चावल को और ये इसी तरह से मिलेट को प्रमोट करेंगे तो जैसे आज बासमती और काला नमक जा रहा है ऐसे भारत का मिलेट दुनिया के बाज़ारों में रहेगा तो मुझे लगता है कि ये एक बड़ा हम फ्यूचर का रोड मैप बना रहे हैं और अपने प्रदेश और केंद्र की योजनाओं को जन जन तक पहुँचा सके उसको Fantastic talking to you, sir, and fantastic knowing about your parliamentary and political journey, and of course the kind of zeal, dedication, and commitment that you have, and the kind of attendance that you have. I'm sure that is going to serve as an example to other aspiring politicians. But Mr. Jagdeep Mikapal, you joined us and shared all those intricate details with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure Thanks talking to you, sir. A lot of questions you have asked me. Pleasure talking I'm to you, sir. To right, sir. Well, viewers, that's all we have for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV. Goodbye for now from my side.